okay? Interference forces here that are trying to interrupt either your current connection in love and or are trying to instill doubt. There are a lot of people out there that have been hurt and there are a lot of people out there who are spreading energies and words from their hurtness or from their experience which has been wounded. And what's happening is there's almost like a war or a battle going on against people who are really trying genuinely to to progress in their heart's true essence and their, and their true love and people who are trying to spread or progress from their wounds or from their hurt. You are meant for an everlasting fountain of true love counterpart divine situation here. You are meant for that. Don't let the fear from the hurt or woundedness from outside of you, from people and from society get in the way or interfere with your belief and your faith in your situation and also with your upcoming situation. Libra, welcome to the channel. My name is Brandon Tobias. It's so great to have you here. Today's video is for you if you're looking for true love channeled updates either for your current relationship, you're looking to deepen your current relationship and get the guidance you need to have an amazing happily ever after, or if you're single looking to unite with your divine counterpart, this video is helpful messages and guidance for you. Let's get into the things you're gonna get in today's video. Number one, you're gonna get some straight up channeled messages from the guides and angels without tarot, without astrology, just whatever they want you to know in this current moment for the first week of August, either about your love life and or about your soul purpose. The two of those are tied together for me as a guide. Number two, we're going to get right into the channel tarot reading, which is going to be helpful true love updates, either for your current relationship and or for uniting with your true love counterpart. Again, these are helpful messages to help you unite and or deepen your true love situation. If you are as excited as I am, go ahead and hit that like button. It helps the video to be shared with more people so we can guide more people. And without further ado, let's get right into your video. Guides and angels, loved ones, masters, and wise ones, angels and archangels for the sign of Libra. What are the messages they need to know for their greatest and highest good in this moment uh, in love and or in life? Libra, you are the one that's shining the way for a certain amount of other people looking to progress in their relationship life. You are like a shining role model for those looking to progress in love specifically, but also in partnership. You're meant to know a lot more about partnership specifically than other people around you so that you can show them the specific techniques and ways of being that they need to know to move on in your footsteps here. So you're meant to, all the lessons you're learning, all the knowledge you're learning at this particular moment is going to go so that you can lead others in this way. This is part of your life destiny, your sole purpose to lead others when it comes to relationship, true love, and masculine and or feminine dynamics. We're really excited that you're stepping into this role and we want to see more of it from you. So keep it coming and just know that others are looking to you to guide their way in love and romance. So thank you so much. And let's get into your channeled love tarot reading. Oh, guides and angels, loved ones, masks and wise ones, angels and archangels for Libra. What are the specific messages that they need to know in this moment in their true love situation? Helpful messages for them to deepen their current true love relationship or to help them unite with their true love partnership. Nine of Swords is out first. Um, there may be some inner anxiety here that's coming up to the surface. Uh, questions around, are you good enough? Are you feeling worthy enough for this, for true love, for life, for purpose? Uh, you're questioning maybe a little bit of imposter syndrome as well. Okay, so you're saying, I don't know if I'm doing good enough. I don't know if I am enough. I don't know if I'm going to be able to find my way. Uh, is this really meant for me? Is this really meant for me? Okay, these are the words that the guides are saying uh, in this moment. Just know that whatever it is you're 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 working on, you're getting through, it's a journey and it's a process. It doesn't have to all happen overnight. It can happen gradually over time. And in fact, people will respect you even more when, you, when they know that you've gone through a journey over time, that it didn't happen overnight and you weren't an overnight success. Again, either in love and or in life. Remember, your story right now is being captured so you can tell the world about it. And so everything you learn, everything you go through in this moment is to be treasured because it will be told to people later on as a sort of inspiration for you. Now, the devil card with the Ember card, Queen of Wands, there's definitely something, I just want to say this, there's this forces here, okay, interference forces here that are trying to interrupt either your current connection in love and or are trying to instill doubt in what you've come to know deep in your soul, deep in your belly about your current love situation or your potential love situation if you are single. 
things that are coming in to say that's not really meant for you that person's not really meant for you or they're too good for you or they're going to leave you things like that also that are affecting your confidence here so emperor and the queen of wands what the devil tells me things are coming in again these could be everything from visions to dreams to just messages you're getting to things you're seeing to people in your life who are in some way attempting to interfere unconsciously or consciously with your confidence your self-confidence and or with your current relationship dynamic and or with your potential hopes for and faith in your true love relationship your counterpart situation moving forward <clears throat> they wish to see you dead on the floor all right this is just this is like pure dark evil intentions things that are trying to get in the way so if you feel like as you progress you've been getting set back or you've been getting these weird off and on mixed messages mes messaging or messages and things seem like they're trying to interrupt your progress or your flow just know that this is where it's likely coming from um and again these are dark energetic forces that are trying to interfere and really they're here to test your faith to test your belief in your situation in your knowledge and your in your confidence both in yourself and in your true love counterpart situation here so as you see through the facade, as you gain more, even more confidence in yourself, it gives you even more passion and excitement and drive to figure out, one, what you're meant to do here, but also to progress forward in your relationship. Because really, the, these things would only be interfering, you're going to come to know, if it was a destined and or very right, very right, very true dream come true relationship. Okay. So yes, so the guides are saying have strength, have faith here, okay, have strength, have faith in your situation, don't start to doubt it, don't let any seeds of doubt get in the way of your situation, of your relationship, they're not real, they're simply trying to interfere with what you already know deep inside and what you know you want and or you're already in and or continuing to deepen to, and cultivate in your love life and as well as in your purpose as well because they're both connected. Two of Pentacles here with the Death card. Remember, purpose goes along with true love. When you're on your true purpose, you will attract in true love and vice versa, okay? So the two go hand in hand. Now, what wants to die off here is, and what, what these dark forces may be attracted to is those last little bits inside of you that are holding back your fullest expression of who you are and what you really came here to do. So if there are seeds of doubt inside of you about who you are, what you're meant to do here, where you're meant to go, that's where they're going to get attacked, okay? Particularly, again, if you're in a relationship and or if you're single, if there's anyone in your life that are that's putting in seeds of doubt or words or, or energies, that's going to be attacked. That's going to be emphasized at this time because dark forces or energetic forces don't want true love to come together, okay? And definitely there's energies around right now in society that are not wanting true love uh, partnerships to come together. So have faith, have persistence. And follow your true feelings. Uh, the, the, the end result here, and again, this is for first week of August 2022, is that you'll have a deeper understanding of really why you came here and who you are because you'll be more connected with your most empowered but also childlike self. Like if you could express yourself without boundaries or limits and just be fully what and who you are and really desire what you really want to desire and really go for what you want to accomplish and to cultivate, what would that be without doubts, limitations, or fears coming up to the surface? Okay, so you can use some of this shadow energy you might be experiencing, Queen of Swords, Devil, and Nine of Cups, to fire you up and to give you more inspiration to say, that's not okay, that's not right. Maybe these words that I'm hearing in society around me or the people that are saying these things or putting in doubt or just being negative, that's not okay. Let me speak up about it. Let me get some passion. Let me get some excitement about this and let me get after it because the things that are being said and done in society that are not okay or not right are just not sitting well with me and that's really what drives me. Okay, these are the words for you. Now, your, your relationship, current relationship or your p future potential relationship, what you feel is coming for you in true love should be the motivating factor for this, right? You should be getting reflections uh, back to you uh, in regards to your true love situation about what is and what isn't right. Meaning like, let's say you're in a relationship and your partner is, you know, getting these signs, getting these messages, maybe getting downloads that something is wrong. 
and or if you're single, right, and you're just like, you, you feel like you want and you deserve true love to be in this certain way, yet you're getting messages from the outside that are against that or opposite of that, right? The reflection should be against what you know is true, the true love deep inside of you. Does that make sense? And that's how you know what to be against. That's what you know what to fight against deep inside. Okay, it's, it's a reflection. How does that thing that I heard or, or took in from outside of me reflect against the essence of true love that's inside of me? That's, that's the question to ask here in this moment. If it's in resonance, great. If it's not in resonance, there's something maybe off with it a little bit that I might need to speak out about or share my opinion on. Okay, Queen of Swords, Knight of Swords energy here. Um, hanged Man with the Five of Swords here because really um, uh, there are a lot of people out there that have been hurt and there are a lot of people out there who are spreading energies and words from their hurtness or from their experience which has been wounded, okay? And what's happening is there's almost like a war or a battle going on against people who are really trying genuinely to, to progress in their heart's true essence and their, and their true love and people who are trying to spread or progress from their wounds or from their hurt, okay? And so this is coming to a, a little bit of a head. It's like true love dynamics versus kind of wounded dynamics and both sides have to speak out now, what you got to know is the truth will always win. And you are, Libra, if you're watching this, meant to speak out against this. You are meant to be a warrior of light and justice, love and truth against all of this. And this is why you're seeing this reading. You're part of God's army. You're part of the true love counterparts yet meant to unite and change the world through spreading the true love frequency. Okay, so that's why you're here. That's why you're watching this reading. But you got to know there are people out there not spreading things from love. They're spreading things from wounds and or from hurt and it's hurting all of us and therefore it's it's meant for us to speak out against it and to share what the truth really is so that people have a role model to go off of so again as the channel message said libra you are meant to be a role model of sorts for the world page of swords with the eight of wands and the four of cups so it is a good time to think about what you're willing to accept and move forward with and what you're not willing to accept and say no to. Four of Cups here with the Eight of Wands is this dichotomy of saying no to certain words, messages, or energies coming into your life or you're hearing or that are just, you know, you're, you're aware of and saying yes to others so you can move faster down your track. I know there's a very odd piece of hair there. Okay. And saying yes to others so you can move even faster down with what you know is true. Okay. So again, looking out in the world for messages, for content, for energies, for people that are not in resonance with you. Saying no to that so you can be even more crystal clear with what you truly believe in and what you want to advocate, speak, and promote so that the world can start to move forward in this true love frequency. And again, whether you're in a relationship or single doesn't matter. As long as you sit in the frequency, true love will be attracted to you. And if you're in a relationship, it will deepen for you. Okay. And last three messages here of advice before we get into the astrology. We have the Three of Swords, the Moon card, and the Ace of Cups. So don't let the heartbreak of society, the hurt around love, the hurt around breakups, the hurt around karmic situations from other people get into the way of your true love situation. Uh, you are meant for an everlasting fountain of true love, counterpart divine situation here. You are meant for that. Don't let the fear from the hurt or woundedness from outside of you, from people and from society get in the way or interfere with your belief and your faith in your situation and also with your upcoming situation if that's what you're the situation you're in. Continue to deepen and or deepen your visualization of your potential relationship and or your current relationship so that you can know exactly where you're headed and what's right, what's wrong, and you can be your own best guide. Okay. So that is your true love channeled messages. Now, uh, there will be an extended reading for this particular situation. I'm going to be channeling from the divine masculine's perspective. So again, whether you're in a relationship, this is his perspective on any issues or things you're going through, growth challenges, current growth lessons that he's going through. And or if you're single, the divine masculine's perspective so you can know where your counterpart is at this current time and what growth lesson he's going through. Um, this is a very powerful month for you. It's a very powerful leadership-oriented month, love-oriented month, and really filtering out any of the negative or toxic energies you might be encountering so you can be even more of your own guide, even more confident in your path, your current relationship, or your potential future relationship, what that's going to be like for you, what that's like, 
and what that's upcoming for you. And so eventually, so you can guide others. Just remember, your story right now is being created and written as we speak. So everything you're experiencing and learning will be something you teach others in the long run to help inspire their path and change their circumstances for the better. Libra, that is your channel tarot reading for the first week of August 2022. Thank you so much for watching. If you want to go deeper, there will be an extended. The preview will be sh uh, shown right after this. You can check that out in the description box below. And finally, if you want to go deeper with me, I do offer personal tarot readings, soul purpose astrology readings, and live one-on-one -on -one healing sessions and or packages where we specialize in the removal of trauma, specifically subconscious trauma from childhood. I go in, find those beliefs, remove them with theta healing, and completely transform your life. So all that you can find on my website, brandontobias.com. And thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in the extended and bye for now. He's really coming into his power and he really sees you and and this as an aligned situation. He wants to take it all the way. He wants to lead you to a better place. I see his intentions being very genuine, very strong, very leadership oriented. The, the, the word that keeps coming back is becoming a true leader in love and or in life alongside you. Now, Seven of Cups, Four of Cups with the Knight of Swords tells me, wow, he's really saying no or just getting out getting out of any temptation energy, right? No, so Four of Cups, the Seven of Cups says, He's coming out of illusion. He's coming out of daydreaming or temptation or just immature energy. And he's saying, let's move in together, right? If you guys have moved in together, like, let's move in together. It's a sign for you. Let's still feeling at risk a little bit because of how he's been wounded in the past. Three of Swords with the Temperance card. Now, his action is helping him to heal through this, meaning the more he acts in this energy, the more it heals his past and his past way of being from his hurt. Uh, most likely coming from his previous relationships and or just his uh, upbringing. So really the solution is here, the more you can allow and open the space for him to, to move, to act, to hold you, to really step into his power and to do it in a way where you are also supporting him and giving that energy emotionally back and reciprocating back and forth as much as he's giving to you. You're also helping him to heal because he's showing his soul unconsciously, subconsciously that it's safe to be in a one-on-one -on -one dynamic, right? It's safe.